What's going on everybody? This is Bishop Brad here for the final video for the Donald Trump hot sauce competition and to announce our number one candidate out of 10 candidates, 10 badass candidates. But uh, the, I, w I want to share this with all of you before we announce the winner. Mr. Arthur Schubert, you made an incredible bottle. It, La Migra was was a bottle that that even knowing it was for it was anti-Trump, you stood upon the rest for quite a long while, and that sauce was absolutely great. So I want to thank you, Arthur, very much for being part of my Donald Trump hot sauce competition, brother. Great job, Travis Near, Travis. Your bottle was spectacular, brother. I enjoyed your bottle so much. It was gorgeous. It was it was it was big. It was awesome. It it it, it, it trumped every it was just great looking, gorgeous bottle. I want to thank you, Travis, very much for being a part of my hot sauce, Donald Trump hot sauce competition. You did fabulous, brother. Richard Bryson. You have been one of my favorite hot sauce makers throughout all these years. The flavor of your sauce, uh, Up in Smoke, was a, a, a fingerprint of yours that nobody can duplicate. That was the first sauce to ever get a 10 out of 10 on flavor. Why you're not winning this, I'm sorry, but that's politics. Once you crunch the numbers, once you crunch the votes, unfortunately, this is how uh, it all came about. So I want to thank you very much for making a spectacular sauce. Badass. Love you, Richard. Thank you for being a part of my Donald Trump hot sauce competition. Patrick. Patrick from Florida hot sauces, baby. Patrick is a, is, is, is a brother from another mother over there in Florida. Uh, yeah, Patrick has come and collaborated with me on some hot sauce bottles. He has that Caribbean, tropical Florida fingerprint approach to his sauces. He has an incredible line of sauces. Great guy. Loves competition. And most importantly, I want to say, Patrick, I love you. I thank you very, very much for being a part of my Donald Trump hot sauce competition. Jeremy. Jeremy is the only Ted Cruz fan that I can put up with. I love Jeremy. He's a chili head. He has some great sauces. He grows some incredible peppers. This man has his own hot sauce line about to coming up. He just changed his label. He's rocking and rolling in the pepper world. And Jeremy, I have to say though, that label, the duck sauce, the the Donald sauce, the the duck sauce. I swear to gosh, I loved that label. It popped. The sauce was good. It was fantastic. And I just want to say, Jeremy, I love you. Thank you very much, brother, for being a part of my Donald Trump hot sauce competition. Loved it. Michael. Michael. Barefoot. 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 Michael. We all know him, a.k.a. as Big Daddy Fahrenheit. To me, Rookie of the Year when it came to hot sauce, man. And it created a personalized Donald Trump, pro-Trump bottle, loved the label, it had my name on it, had Trump's face and my name, sauce was good, it was really good, um, most importantly, uh, y'all keep an eye out for Michael, Big Daddy Fahrenheit, he's got two sauces that are off the chain, dude, and uh, I love you, brother, I thank you, you were the first one to get in, and uh, Michael, I love you very much for being a part of my Donald Trump hot sauce competition. Uh, 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 Tom Toth, the master kingpin scientist of the bacon sauce. I love voodoo chili sauces and salsa. They're sauces, man. Tom is one of those other guys that has a particular fingerprint about his sauces. And they're all good. And they, they, they hit all angles of the flavor profiles. And uh, it, it's, his, his sauces have always been one of my favorites out there. I want to thank you, Tom. You jumped in at last minute, baby. You were like the Mitt Romney coming out of the woodwork, making it 10 people. I thank you for making it 10 people. Your sauce was extremely hot. That was a profound. I think that has to be the hottest sauce I've ever had from you. So uh, I want to say love you, brother. I thank you for being a part of my Donald Trump hot sauce competition. Uh, Steve. 
Steve, baby, Steve came out. His sauce was banging, man. Steve's, uh, Steve was the one that had the the uh, uh, the big one. It was the big bottle. He he trumped everybody. I got confused. That I thought that was Travis. No, that was Steve who came out with the big bottle that trumped everybody in this competition when it came to size. You put all the bottles up, it was just trumping them all. You know, his sauce was awesome. Uh, perfect label. Classic Trump. Perfect. Had my name. Had everything on it, dude. Uh, I, incredible bottle, Steve. I wanted to thank you very much, brother, for being a part of my Donald Trump hot sauce competition. Love you. All of you have created some of the most incredible sauce and Donald Trump sauces and extreme uh, that are out there. So I'm proud of all of you. Um, uh, then we had Sam. Sam punched me in the face with a, a collector bottle that drove me nuts opening mm. the son of a bitch. It was even childproof. But the sauce, I never knew peppermint and reaper, peppermint and reaper, peppermint and reaper. I know. Peppermint and Reaper, it, and it had alcohol in it. It's one of those ones where you take a dripper, and you drip it in, and you just take shots of it. I wouldn't want to put it on my food. I'd want to get, use it to get like a little rush, like a little heat rush, and, and, and a little bit of alcohol rush at the same time. That It, it was like 100% proof or 50% per volume. I don't know. I, it was just crazy. I never, Peppermint and Reaper, never knew, but it's bad. It's badass, dude. Uh. Sam, I wanted to say this to you. Before I do, I want to give much love to Jonathan Edwards. Jonathan Edwards created the Drumpf Shuttle. You opened the thing up and there was a gold carpet and an extreme reaper sauce that was hotter than hell, but full of flavor, dude. I mean, that Jonathan Edwards had it coming out from every single direction just like Sam McCandless, but McCandless. But here's what I'm going to say. Sam, I want to congratulate you. You won the Donald Trump hot sauce competition, the only politically fueled hot sauce competition there has ever existed. You won. And what we're, what I'm going to do is he asked me, he, goes, he wants me to send these sauces uh, to a sergeant in the military. Uh, you know, uh, for our, our uh, troops, for hot sauce, it, it's something of that nature. So I've got it all packed, Sam. I want to congratulate you, brother, on making an incredible sauce. Uh, Sam beat out Jonathan by one point. Sam had 75. Jonathan had 74. Good Lord, dude. What an awesome competition. Thank you all for hanging in there with me. I hope you have enjoyed this. Guys, Pursue your sauces if you may, because people, there are a lot of Trump fans out there and a lot of anti-Trump fans that will buy all of y'all sauces. You need to promote it, and uh, this is the first time this has ever been done. Congratulations to Sam McCandless for winning the Donald Trump hot sauce competition, and great job to the runner-up, Jonathan Edwards. Uh, he edged out Jonathan. Much love, baby. I'm going to see y'all on all my own personal and future endeavors. Love all of you. Bye-bye.